So this is a 2018 Toyota CHR. At the time of this recording, um, all the Toyota CHRs have the same body style. So this should apply to everything up through 2021. Uh, I think they started making them in 2016. So this would probably be the video you're looking for if you're looking to put a roof rack on your Toyota CHR aftermarket. I bought one from Amazon and uh, I'm gonna show you what it took to put this back one on by installing the front one. I want to install one first so that I could be clear about what's happening. These aren't the best fitting roof racks uh, for aftermarket. So right out of the gate, I'll just suggest if you have the option to get the OEM ones um, and I'll go through by showing you. Okay, the first thing you have to do is pre-assemble the roof rack by attaching these on here and it comes with these items this long allen keyed bolt you're going to put the rounded side towards the bracket because it sits it saddles in inside there and uh, I'm pretty sure that the ones I bought as new on Amazon were used because I'll show you a picture of what the this little washer here looked like on the back one. Now the tricky part is in here Okay, this will wobble around on you, so you've got to get it centered in order to start. I just went behind with this pick and pushed it forward and then got the uh, nut started. It's not that easy to do, but I'll do it and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. What I'm trying not to do is strip the threads in this by forcing it in at a bad angle. All right, it took, so that was my fourth time doing it. Uh, you can imagine the first three took just a little bit longer than that. But that's a difficulty you'll face if they don't come pre-assembled like this kit did not. All right, so, in order to tell what side it is, from the best I can get from all the pictures is, you'll see this center strip here, which may or may not come pre-installed in yours. Uh, everything I've seen, they don't come pre-installed, but this did, which is another reason that leads me to believe that these were used before I got them. The shorter end goes forward, and the pin here, which I'll show you out in the car. Oops, there we go goes on the trailing edge on the wide side so that's how you'll know you got the right side and whichever side the pin will be going towards the back door and this is towards the front windshield all right next are these pads which are going to go underneath here between the car and the like the foot of the the foot of the uh, roof rack so so it doesn't make contact plastic on metal and you'll see that there's these channels here. They sit in the drip edge of your car. On the rear side, I could not get them to line up. I got one side in and the other side would be a little bit off. So I just shaved them off. You can see the remnants and it actually fits just fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is get a straight razor and cut off this lip right here so that when I put the rack on the top of the car. I don't have to fight it. it. Maybe this one would work, maybe it wouldn't, but I know that the back didn't, so I'm just going to skip it all together and cut it off now. So I'm going to finish cutting this off, off camera, making it nice and flush as best I can. Okay, next step, we're back out to the car, is that there is a rubber grommet right here some kits come with a replacement 
Uh, I've seen them where they you replace this with the one that has a hole in it. The nubs on these particular brackets are so wide that they actually pretty much fill the hole. So you gotta pull these out. And you're left with that hole right there. And do the same on the other side. I hope that stays okay. So next I'm gonna put the brackets on, putting those little nubs up inside those holes where we just put the plastic washers on it. So for reference, the feet, uh, the pads that I was talking about are marked. Like this, it says front FR and shows the front right side of the car and the picture that's on it. So that's where that's gonna go. So now I'm just going to use the provided Allen key and tighten these up until essentially this part here is all the way up here and go back and forth and back and forth sort of adjusting the roof rack making sure that it's even spacing on the roof here on both sides as I go and then I'll show you how to put on the, the facade what I don't like about it and what I'm doing to maybe prevent a future issue. Okay, I've been cranking down on this and it's obvious that there's some differences between the front and the rear roof rack. Now the rear roof rack is actually longer and these facades here are longer. So this particular bar up front is shorter and the facades that come in here and the legs are a little bit shorter. So that said, you can see how I clearly had to cut I couldn't get that piece of rubber that I cut off to go on this side of this drip channel or drip edge or whatever you want to call it. So I made the assumption that the front would be the same and as you can see it is not. So in hindsight I probably shouldn't have cut it because you've got this little bit of gap here. So that is a mistake that I made in selling the front ones. But also because I can't tighten it up all the way like I did the back. I'm gonna make sure that the gap here is the same on both sides of the car. Um, just to give you an idea, this, these things do not move. They're on so tight that the whole car is moving. So that is good. Um, but I'm gonna uh, even them up and then I'll show you how to put on the facade. So here's the facades. I'm actually standing on the front left side, but as you can see, this has front right stamped on it. And if you were to try to put it on the wrong side, you can clearly see that it's uh, it doesn't fit right on the, the bracket. So it shouldn't be hard to figure out what side is what. So as you can see, this is front left. I'm at the driver's side. And that's much better fitting on the bracket itself. So it comes with a certain kind of connector. This is gonna go through the hole in the facade in here and then turn. And then turn to lock. And it comes with, the kit I had came with two keys, thankfully, because I broke one of the keys putting on the rear. Um, they didn't wanna go in very well, but they fit in. The key fits in there and that's how you turn it rather than like a slot. I suppose it's for anti-theft. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some silicone around here and then in here, each side here. So as you can see, that's where the key is going to go through and then it's got two notches that go in. One in there and one in there. So silicone in there. The reason that I'm doing this is because I have no intention on removing these roof racks once they're on. I know that some people have to remove them for, I don't know, car washes or if they get their car detailed. 
Um, no, this is for me gonna be on, forget it. So this is not a permanent, this isn't like it's Gorilla Glue, but this is a, I don't think you'd wanna do if you plan on uh, doing quick release. That's the hole that that is gonna go into that black plastic that gets keyed in. I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up, but I'm running into that problem where I have, you know, only two hands trying to do the job and use the camera at the same time. So this is gonna go in up and down. And then I'll key it and twist it clockwise. Okay, there it is installed. So got my finger smudges all over it. Had a little bit of a hard time getting that lock to go in. I had to bend the tab that in the inside, the receiver, I had to bend it up a little bit because it wasn't wanting to bite when I turned it. And uh, so on the reviews I've been reading that these are subject to falling off, that, which is why I siliconed it. But it's probable that I'll end up, I don't know, whether I'll be putting like a tie wrap around here or here, or you can see how ill-fitting the rear is. I could put one there. I haven't yet decided. Let's see how these things do. And um, one last thing, because I haven't road tested it yet, but if, uh, if it does make noise or whistle, there's an easy solution to that. I've had this problem in the past. Just take some twine or like nylon rope from a hardware store whatever color you want, you know, if you wanted to match the car or something, and just wrap the rack a little bit with some string and that will kill the whistle and uh, humming noises that those things create sometimes. So, like I said, I don't know that this particular one has that issue, but if it does, I'm gonna use that trick to solve it. Just figured I'd share a little bit of that with you. There it is, completed. Um, I consider myself fairly handy enough and it wasn't beyond my ability, but uh, I don't know, as far as these roof racks go, these are aftermarket bought on Amazon. Again, at this point in time, I wouldn't recommend them. I would just go OEM. All right, one last piece of advice. These are the tools that came with the roof rack. I put them in a Ziploc bag, wrote roof rack on it, put them in a glove box. There, they're with the car, all set.